Hey, if you'd like to support the production of more MOOF University video tutorials, then please visit the support MOOF section on MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. So we know that lipid synthesis occurs mostly in the liver and specifically in the endoplasmic reticulum. But how do these lipids that are made there get transported to tissues that need them? Because there are tissues other than the liver's tissues that require lipids, right? Lipids are needed all over the body. So how do they get from the liver to those other places? Well, how does anything really get from one organ to the next or one tissue to the next? It's through the blood. The blood carries nutrients in it through, the, through the body. Problem, though. Lipids are hydrophobic. Why is that a problem? Well, the blood is hydrophilic, right? So, I mean, it's mostly water. So how do these, these lipids can't just travel directly through the blood? So what's the solution? Well, there are these things called lipoproteins or lipoprotein particles. And they transport lipids in the blood. So what are the different types of lipoproteins? Well, there's this chart down here. And we've got a few different types. We've got chylomicrons. We've got VLDL, which stands for very low density lipoprotein. We've got IDL, intermediate density lipoprotein. LDL, low density lipoprotein. And HDL, high density lipoprotein. We see the density and diameter here. Density is increasing going upwards this way. And diameter is decreasing going downwards. So chylomicrons are the biggest. They are the biggest and least dense. And HDL are the smallest and most dense of the lipoproteins. Now, another thing that's important is the particle composition by percent mass. So what actually are the components that make up a lipoprotein? And this, the different ones are, are P, P, L, C, C, E, and T, G. What do those stand for? P is proteins. P, L is phospholipids. C is cholesterol. CE is cholesterol esters, and TG is triglycerides. So this cholesterol here is free cholesterol, whereas CE, cholesterol esters, we'll get into that in just a second. In fact, let's do that now. Cholesterol esters. Here we've got cholesterol, and here we've got a cholesterol ester. Really, the difference is right here. Right here, we have an OH in the cholesterol. Oops, that's not that great. There we go. We got that OH there, whereas here, we have an acyl group attached. So, and to make this ester linkage here, so um, that acyl group can come from an acyl CoA, come from an acyl CoA, and of course the coenzyme A will just fall off. This process is catalyzed by an enzyme called acyl CoA cholesterol acyl transferase. That name should make sense. We've got an acyl CoA here, we've got cholesterol, and we're transferring an acyl group from the acyl CoA to cholesterol to make this cholesterol ester. The reason why this happens is because once this cholesterol, once we add this acyl group to a cholesterol ester, this thing cannot escape the lipoprotein, whereas free cholesterol can. Okay, so these kind of will, will stay in the lipoprotein particle. Now back up here, I do want to mention that the particle composition by percent mass is pretty important uh, because it can help you understand these functions here. And I've actually highlighted in green the highest percentage or percentages um, by particle um, or by lipoprotein particle for as far as what is contained within them. So chylomicrons here have mostly um, their 85, 86 percent triglycerides. Their function is to deliver dietary or exogenous lipids, mainly triglycerides. So what they do is they deliver uh, the tri or excuse me the lipids, especially the triglycerides that we eat in our in our diets, to the cells in and tissues that need them. VLDL, they do a similar thing. Um, they're also got lots of triglycerides. They deliver endogenous lipids, which are basically lipids that our body synthesizes ourselves. So again, both of these are uh, mostly triglycerides. It makes sense that they're primarily transporting triglycerides. Right? Uh, IDL, it's got uh, a bunch of cholesterol esters and triglycerides. In this case, because it's got both of those pretty high, it's not that useful in helping us determine what it is. In fact, its function is just as an LDL precursor. We'll go into all these different functions in more detail later. I just want to cover them briefly here. Um, LDL, mostly cholesterol esters, its job is to deliver cholesterol to the peripheral tissues. Um, so it makes sense that it's got a lot of cholesterol esters. HDL is mostly protein, so that's the one that gives you the least amount of help. 
as far as its its actual function. Its function is reverse tra cholesterol transport, which basically is taking cholesterol from the peripheral tissues back to the liver. So we're going to delve into all this in more detail. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share the video with anyone who you think might find it helpful. Thanks and happy studying.